Well, hello viewers. Yeah, we have something different today. This will be, I think, will be the last video of season three. Since the weather's turned and, oh, this morning was the first morning we had, I had ice on the car this morning. So, we're gonna have a little run in Panda Bear. Let's crank the beast up, we've just finished work. There we go. Now we can see outside, cool. There we go. It's hard finding the bloody somewhere to stick the camera, but never mind, lights on. So we just finished work, started work at four o'clock this morning, out of bed at 1.45. So we've got an hour's drive home if there's no fucking traffic. Ay, 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 ay. I've got a couple of stories for you. Let's get out the airport first. Oh, thank fuck for that. Ding, ding. Oh, I a morning non-stop. It's quieting and down on winter season, but still, still kept gone. Aye, so I thought, ah, the weather's changing. Do I want to be riding my bike in the, all the shitty weather with the shitty roads? No, I don't. So we'll save it till there. Uh, oh, look here, this camera's picking it up. Oh, shit, I kind of turned the fucking thing around. Just passing the electric station. All right, no cars in it. <laughs> 59 cents a, a gallon or whatever the fucking hell he put in the electric. Well, if anybody watches Mac, what's he called? Mac Canister, Callister or some fucking thing. I can't remember his name. Something like that. He has an electric Porsche. Porsche, Porsche something. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Anyway, him and another... Come on, you fucker, come past. Fucking hell, man. Him and another YouTuber did a test from John O'Groats to Land's End. They did it in two days. They had a stopover in Kendall, so it was John O'Groats to Kendall, then Kendall down to um, Land's End. Now, it's a two-year-old porky. Cayenne? Something like that, I can't remember the fucking name, some fucking thing. 120 grand it cost him or something anyway. And the other guy went on Facebook, um, second hand thingy bobbies, and paid, uh, was it three grand, two grand, something like that, for a 14 year old, if I remember rightly, BMW 320 diesel. I don't know how many miles it had on the clock, but anyway, by the by. Now then, who do you think won? Well, I suppose it's kind of obvious who won, I suppose. In time-wise, obviously, the diesel. Nay, nay worries. The electric one fucking around with charging. And he had problems chop. Oh, for fuck's sake, was this traffic jam? No. He had problems charging, because obviously, um, now that there's more people with electric cars, there's not enough fucking charging points, so when you got you got to one, there's a fucking queue. So now I the cars that was charging. I think it was six or seven points or something, I can't remember. And the cars that was charging, there was a queue of cars waiting to get on, then he would have to come on. You think, what the fuck? And then he went to um Porsche fast charging in Perth. Hey, it cost him 40 odd quid to fill the car with electric. 40 fuck, 40 odd quid to fill a tank of electric. Jesus Christ. To do about 200 miles. Fucking hell, eh? What's the, where's the incentive? Where is the incentive, eh? Fucking hell.
So in the end, I think the diesel car cost, I think you had uh, one tank and a splash and dash. I can't remember the exact price, you'll have to watch it. Both sets of videos, the diesel guys' videos and uh, McAllister, I think, I can't remember his name anyway, and the electric guys' videos. They're pretty good how they go on, they're, they're pretty good. But the, the electric one was miles more expensive than the diesel car. Again, so where is the where is the fucking incentive? Why would you want an electric car? You know, it's all right fucking around in a town, but when you've got a bit of distance to do, what's the point? You know, five minutes you've got a tank of fucking diesel and 600 miles, boom, done and dusted. I love these fuckers, you know. I think they put the indicator on, they've got the God-given right to move into the tiniest fucking gap. And they think they're right, but they're not. Hence my accident in Zurich. Oh, I'm the indicator on. I have you pulled straight in fucking front of me, you fucking knob. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, fuck me, idiots. That was the end of my fucking BMW. <coughs> yeah, bastard. Oh, story time. Story, story, Jack and Ori. Can you remember Jack and Ori when we were kids? Why I? Some of the stories were quite canny, quite gripping in the day. Aye, so story number one. So, regular viewers to the channel, greetings to you all. If you're not going to regular viewer, why not? Join the fucking banter, join the crack. Anyway, story. As you all know, I had problems with Panda Bear when I went on holiday to Italy land. And I had the car checked twice. Once gone there, the one... No, I didn't have it checked three times. Once before I left to go in there with ATU, which is like, uh, I don't know, German version of quick fit, or something like that anyway. You know, they do all everything, brakes, fucking this, that and the other. They check, oh, turbo, problem with the turbo. I'd have checked in Italy, just by some uh, Lappy Lappy garage. And he thought it was the turbo control or whatever the fuck that is. Got back into the Bundes Republic. Went back to the ATU. They did another fucking check. Oh yeah, we have to replace your turbo. 1,200 euros. Oh, the fucking hell. I can get the car up to about 80 miles an hour. How it is. Even with the engine light on and a bit of coughing and spluttering, we'll manage. So I managed for a while. So I thought, fuck it, you know what? Oh yeah, I went to see a, a local uh, like a DIY mechanic. Oh, I, oh, I'll give you a call in a month's time. I said, oh, I need worries, that's fine. Well, a month came, a month and a half came, nearly two months, I thought, fuck you. Oh, excuse me. Cheese sandwich from, uh, oh, where was it from? Boston, I think, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I diverse. So, I thought, fuck it, you know what, I'll go into the fucking Fiat garage. Because there's one in the town where I pass every day going to work. Fiat garage. <coughs> so, I emailed the fucker. And, like, for example, I emailed at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, in a response that afternoon, uh, in a response in the morning, so I thought, fuck it, I'll just go on. Two o'clock, I'll be there. So I got there. I said, hey. Buongiorno, Bonnie lad. He said, yeah. I said, you speak the old fucking lingo. Yes, I do. Oh, rock and roll, Bonnie lad. So I said, hey. I emailed you yesterday. Who did you email? I said, where the fuck are you going? Where the fuck are you going, you fucking idiot? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Fucking assholes! Eh? Where the fuck are you going? You see, I've got to put up with this shit every fucking day. These blind fuckers driving. I'm telling you. Where the fuck they get their fucking licenses from? I bet there's no fucking Kellogg's fucking cornflakes left here. Because they've all made fucking driver's licenses up the fucking packet. Fucking idiot. Bye. Fuck.
Oh, it pisses me off, man. Because obviously I'm driving abroad. I don't get the full coverage of my fucking insurance if the bastards hit me, you know? So anyway, where were we? Ah, he feared garage. I said, hey, I fucking emailed you. I showed him the, oh, that's the chef. I said, aye, the fuck I didn't bother answering. Oh, oh, hold on one minute. Then he went and see the best boss. Uh, can you wait 10 minutes? The mechanic will come out. So out comes the mechanic after five minutes. Dead canny, lad, dead canny. Speaks the fucking lingo. What can I say about that? Educated, that's what I like to hear. So he said, all right, give us 20 minutes. I'll have a look, I'll, I'll take your car and have a look. So, oh, I and uh, eight you also said the clutch was fucked. Need a new clutch. So I tell them about that as well. So the, the total bill at ATU was about two and a half thousand. Another garage wanted fucking three and a half for the same fucking work. So anyway, so we'll stick with two and a half folks, all right? Two and a half thousand euros. So remember that. So anyway, in this fucking Fiat garage, <coughs> the, mechanic, the mechanic's been away for about 10 minutes. said, hey, come and have a look at this. So I went through. He said, look, there's your problem there. A fucking rubber hose, diameter of about fucking 10 millimeters, had broken. So it must have something to do with whatever it does, I don't fucking know. He said, that's your problem. I said, you're fucking joking, aren't you? So I told him the story. He said, no, no, that's the problem. So anyway, he fixed the fucking hose and he took the car for a drive. He said, ah, oh, your clutch is all right. Maybe he's a bit rocking between third and fourth, but ah, oh, your clutch is all right. You don't need to fucking replace it. I said, you sure? He said, aye. So then the guy has the keys. I said to the guy, I hit the counter. I said, all right, how much do you want for this? He said, no, no, it's free. On you go, take it away. I said, what? No, I said, how much? Come away. He said, no, no, it's free. You're fine. So, from 1,200 euros for a turbo to um, a couple of inches of rubber hose. For, look at this fucker here. Where the fuck are you going, you fucking halfwit? Look at that, what a fucking driver. Fucking asshole. Whip the fucking hard shoulder. Hey, these fuckers. So where were we? Oh, I, free. So ATU wanted 1,200 for a fucking turbo. <coughs> and Fiat replaced the rubber hose for fucking nout. Can you believe that, you? Eh? <coughs> and they're supposed to be fucking mechanics? What a set of bastards, eh? Can you fucking believe that? Eh? Beggar's belief. <laughs> Just fucking beggar's belief. And in the end, two fucking garages told me, oh, just scrap the car, it's not worth it. Imagine if I'd taken that fucking advice on those fuckers and Panda Bear's champion. I ain't saying that would probably break down that fucking home. But for me, Panda Bear's champion, I'm getting... Some days, or some some weeks on a tank full of fucking diesel I pulled 73 miles to the gallon and that's British gallons folks eh British gallons so 70 fucking three miles to the gallon I'm sorry I don't know what that is in fucking Euro chat or in the American gallons but yeah you can work it out fucking Google it ask Siri Oh, that's just fucking shocking, eh? Fucking shocking, eh? Oh, I was fucking fuming. I mean, you saying that as well a couple of weeks later or nothing, and then you're like, oh, I'll tell you what, I, I'll tell you why I went to the fucking Fiat garage, I'll tell you why. I was on... <sighs> oh, check the emails. You know you get fucking alerts from Amazon and they had a fucking, um, you know, the engine reader, um, what the hell do you call it, man? the fault reader, the code reader. One of them came up for um, 15 euros, I think. I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll buy it. And I stuck it in. 
and it just said, you know, something boosts low pressure or some fucking thing. So I told her, showed the fake garage, I took a photograph of it, and I showed, that's why I showed the fake garage, and he went straight to the problem, you know. But obviously ETU also did that, and they'd have a better system of some 15 euro fucking chatty from fucking uh, Amazon. So anyway, about three weeks later, the engine light came back on again, so I did the same thing, took a photograph, whatever, went back to the field. So I've booked it in for next Monday to have a, so I can have a bit of a check around the, the sensors and all this kind of shit. But since then, the fucking engine light's gone off and the car's running champion. As we are now, we're sitting at, what we're sitting at, 90 mile an hour. Yeah, so, you know, it's all right. Runs fucking champion. But I'll still get it, I'll get it checked out though, just in case, is it? But I like me little panda, I do, I like me little panda bear. You know, it's all right me here. Uh, Cause I had a big, um, first, like big cars after I had a Fiat Pundo, then a Seda Pitha, then um, what did I have after that? Or Citroen C4. Actually, that was cool, cause the steering wheel moved, but the, the bit in the middle didn't. It was champion. Something different, I had that. Then, then we moved on to the big boys. Got a two litre Volkswagen Passat estate, automatic. That was 170 horsepower, I think. All diesel, like all diesel. Then we swapped that onto the, the BMW 318 Touring. All leather chat inside, it's champion. Till that bastard in fucking Zurich fucking smacked me. Then after that, I got the fucking Peugeot estate. And obviously, coming downhill. Then the fucking, obviously the engine fucked up on that. And now we're with the old fucking Panda. 2009 Panda. Champion. So that's the fucking news about that one. So as I said, I think this will be the last video of season three. And next year, we'll start the next season. I'm not sure what we'll probably call next season. Probably season four, I think, eh? <laughs> kind of figures, eh? Or maybe three and a half. I don't fuck you now what man you fucking idiots. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know if the GoPro shows how close that actually is. But here in Switzerland if you leave a little gap between the vehicle and front of you, you cannot cut the bastards will pull fucking in front of you. As I told you, the fuckers expect because they've got their indicator on, they've got the guard given right to pull in. Well technically they fucking haven't but see I tell you, I wish I had an old battered fucking Land Rover just got straight into the fucking side of them. Fucking teach the arrogant fuckers. Worst fucking drivers in fucking Europe. A fucking lot of them. I'm telling you. Fucking telling you. Their road manners are atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Always me first routine. Me first. So, as I said, I think, yeah, this will be the last one, I think, for the season. Because we're in the middle of November, weather's turning, the roads are covered in shit. I see this morning. I thought, what was that? Now, windscreen went out, put the wagon. Like, oh, fucking hell, that's a bit of ice. So this morning was the first ice. And somebody said this morning they're expecting snow on higher ground. So, oh, there's a policy way down the other side. Must be fucking bad time. So, other story. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, this, is, this is a fucking... You're not out of an hour, shall I say? Oh, I'll tell you, it's fucking hell, why not? You know everything fucking else. When I say war lass, I mean war X lass, right? If I make a mistake, it's war X lass. Uh, right? Right. So, war X lass. On the phone, I don't know, about a month ago. Can I have a meeting? I don't know, for fuck's sake, what now? Here we go, I said, why I? She said, somewhere neutral, or at a her place or my place. Well, I don't want to go to her place, because her place was my fucking place. Ever since I came to fucking Germany, it was my fucking place. Look at the gap, look at the gap in front. Is he going to put in front? He's got his fucking brakes on. Is he going to pull behind? Is he? So anyway, I don't want to go there because I, I don't like the fact it was I, I'm the one that had the fucking move. And 
Me and I'm the one that fucking had that piss long before she fucking came on the fucking scene. Anyway, back to the story. So I met up with this fucking local restaurant and she battered the shit out of me. <laughs> she fucking constant fucking battering. Oh fucking hell, I just sat there. Just fucking sat there. But then she'd be getting cold callers on her fucking phone asking for me, which is weird. Even a number of people call her from fucking England. So anyway, she did give me one of the numbers, so I phoned it up. I was just some fucking pile of shit. I said just if you don't know the number, just fucking block them. Block the lock until they're all fucking done and dusted. The sun get fucking sick. <coughs> Been there before. So anyway, she said somebody from my work had fucking contacted her and said I was fucking uh, rattling the cage of some last from war from work. So her exact words were. So then she asked him this question, are you seeing anybody from work? And at that point in time, the answer was no. So I did repeat it to her, I said, no, I am not seeing anybody from work. So, you know, you get that fucking look, so you know. I don't know, if, hold on, let me slow down a bit. The GoPro picking that Audi up next to him. Can he, does it pick the colour up with the greenness? I don't know, I quite, I quite like that, you know? Come on, GoPro, does it pick it up? I should have put the fucking return screen on so I can see it, I don't know. Hopefully it's picked it up anyway. There's an old punto behind me. Fucking hell, it's, it's the same shape as the punto I bought. Anyway. Yeah, no, you You just sit in the outside fucking lane, man. Oh, Jesus. Pull across, you fucker. Pull across. That's all right. You just fucking sit there. There you go. Eventually. My ignorant fuckers. That's a lovely colour. I love the colour, though. The colour is gorgeous. So, anyway. Where the fuck are we? Oh, I hit the meeting. So you can tell by all that's all she didn't believe. But quite honestly, I don't fucking care. I really don't fucking care. But as her question was worded, are you seeing anybody at work? So the answer to that was no. So then, fast forward four fucking weeks. No. Oh. Fast forward maybe two weeks. So then I saw the fucking Brazilian bird at work. We were out doing a Swiss triple seven. And um, our lips locked, shall we say, a few times while we were work. <laughs> oh. So that was that, uh, you know. But we've never been in con well, contact since I sent a couple of SMSs and a couple of whats up. No fancy, just hello. That's it, you know. That was a, a kiss emoji thingy about me, and that's about it. But that was about it. She never fucking answered. So I thought, well, why the fuck are you the other way? You kiss me, you were the one who fucking uh, started the kiss. But anyway. So then another two weeks, email from War X Lass. Um, now I have proof. You lied to my face. You are seeing someone. Oh, I were. And here is five or six fucking WhatsApp text messages that I've sent to the fucking Brazilian. You know, when we actually were seeing each other, like lovey dovey ones, you know? I thought, how the fuck? Fucking hell did you get a hold of these? So correct me if I'm wrong folks. Surely if to get a hold of them they can only come from the person who received the fucking messages. Surely 
unless she's falling under somebody else, but then again, why would the fuck would you do that? So she's always, so it's obviously been the Brazilian that's contacted all last. Oh, right, because when we uh, were kissing in the airplane, I told the Brazilian that somebody had contacted from work our ex last, and she just brushed it off like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't care. You don't worry about it. Which was by the by, it wasn't the point I was worried about it. The point was I was fucking pissed off that somebody sticking their fucking nose at my business. But then Wallace gets these fucking texts, or x last, sorry, these fucking text me messages, and you think, how the fucking hell have you got a hold of these? So it's obviously it's come from the fucking pussy bird. Yeah, fucking hell. Are you fucking weird or fucking what? Eh? Why the fuck would you do that? And of course she doesn't speak fucking English. But I coloured her on the fucking aircraft uh, last week. I s in my broken fucking German and whatever. I said, hey, yeah, fucker. The fuck are you doing this? And I showed her the... Oh, she went, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Nine, nine, nine. I said it fucking was. How else has she got a hold of the fucking text? Nine, 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 oh, no, no. I said, you fucker. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Some fucking people, eh? Why the fuck would you do that? Interfering fuck. So then, I emailed what X last fucking back. I said, hey, Jack and fucking Jill went up the hill. I didn't say that, maybe, you know what I mean. <laughs> I just put that in for fucking, for content, eh? <laughs> I said, hey, you asked this question. Am I seeing anybody from work? The answer to that question was no, like I told you. <clears throat> if you had asked me, have you been seeing anybody from work? Then the answer would have been yes, I have. And if it's any of your business, if you really want to know, it was a bit of a fling lasted a couple of weeks and that was it thank you and goodbye never heard from us since and you know what else you know what else I tell you fucking women I said hey I'll uh, I text her I'll correct Alex, I'll take Alex to the cinema in Zurich to see the new fucking uh, Trolls film out in English. Middle of the morning. I'll come around half past tenish. I'll uh, change your, your tyres and wheels on your car and put the winter wheels on for you. So I got to the house. Nay nee fucking car. She's out. Alex comes down, she says, Oh, Mummy says, Can you go to get the wheels up? She'll be back soon, get the wheels up from the cellar. I thought, You fucker, that's nice there. Eh? So I got them up, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Rolls up at around 11 o'clock. I thought, For fuck's sake, you know, I've got to be, get, get to Zurich for the cinema was two o'clock kickoff, I think. You know, send her to Zurich as well. So, did the business, Alex helped us. So I've got a little electric fucking uh, wrench thing, she'd take the wheel nuts off and stuff, she'd help us, you know. <coughs> Twelve year old next week, she was happy as Larry, helping dad, eh? How good is that? What's a big boy, a big Tonga car, eh? Big Tonga. I'm the Tongas. Showed out anybody had a Tonga when they were a kid. Huh? <coughs> uh, like where we are. So I did all that. You know what? Not even a fucking text to say thanks for changing my wheels hour. Absolutely jack shit. Huh? Yeah, for 
Boca. That's that, isn't it? Oh, man. Absolutely now there. So that's the stories, folk. And you can see Panda Bears rattle along quite nicely. Just a little burst of speed so you see what she's like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, There's still a car on the inside lane about 15 miles away, so you'll sit in the outside lane until he fucking passes it. Uh, I'm telling you, these fuckers, eh? they're something else. Road manners of a fucking donkey. Yee haw! Yee haw! Yeah? So, we'll not give it a burst of fucking speed since he's fucking held me up. <laughs> he's just fucking sitting there. Huh? In a civilised world, we'd have pulled across, check your mirrors because there's a car up your arse wanting past. Let him go. I'm not fucking here. I'm telling you. <laughs> So anyway folks, that's it. That's it for the season. <clears throat> we didn't quite make it to 400 subscribers yet. We're on 391. 391, we're so close. But <coughs> Still got a fucking cough. Maybe by the turn of the year we might get it. But anyway folks, I'm gonna wish you a really, really nice Christmas. Hope you get all the presents you ask for and some that you don't. And I wish you all a really wonderful new year. And we'll see you in the springtime-ish. Maybe a little sooner, depends on the old weather runnies. Okay, and we'll try and get I'll try and get me uh, me gremlin sword and oh hang on I will have a burst of speed along here. Panda bear, whoop whoop, panda bear, whoop whoop, 90. Stay there, you bastard. Stay fucking there. Gotcha. Oh, we're just over 90 there. Hang on, if, he, if he's gonna pull in, if he's gonna pull in, is he gonna pull in? Is he gonna pull in? Is he gonna pull in? No, he's fucking not. So, any folks, as I said, I wish you a really happy new year and a wonderful Christmas. If you're still riding, ride safe. Be safe. Take care of yourselves and catch us next year, 2024. Look out for season number. Come on, folks, season number number four. <coughs> so, oh, hang on, hang on. We'll get the burst. We'll get the burst. Here we go. 90. Ooh, 95. 96. Okay. Three figures there, uh, folks, three figures. Panda bear. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Arabadechi viewers, Arabadechi. Ciao baby. Ciao baby. Mwah, mwah. <laughs>